Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 23rd of the 11th, or should I say the Black Friday. Uh, just a reminder, we are offering some rather decent deals uh, on some of our uh, courses. If you're interested, you can find out from our main web page. There's a link from there, and I'll pop a link on the bottom here today. Anyway, um, looking at the euro dollar first and well this morning between 8 and 8 30 we've got some data coming out so it may create a bit of volatility it needs a bit of volatility you see the last couple of days it's uh it's struggled to uh hold on to any gains although it's still sitting in this sort of uh upward uh direction still hand <laughs> handrail in this uh 34 mo four alley 34 moving average um it's just a uh, I'm glad I wasn't sitting here all day yesterday watching it to be fair. Um, a break of this, well, we could just see it coming down about two pips probably the way it's running at the moment. It's quite uh, the volatility is dried out, but uh, maybe we'll see some, as I say, some volatility with the news at 8 uh, eight fifteen and eight thirty. It's the French uh, manufacturing and service data first, and then the German data come in second. Uh, Nine o'clock, we'll see the whole of the eurozone uh, flash manufacturing PMI services that tends to have lesser of a move. Um, okay, so that's where we're sitting. Um, any sort of rallies? Well, uh, it could be just looking back into yesterday's highs at this rate uh, somewhere in that region. Maybe just pop a, a tad higher. It's, it has made a pattern of higher lows here, higher highs. So it's in a in a very light upward trend, and uh, but uh, as I said, not able to uh, keep hold of any of the gains. They seem to be rolling over. I mean, ten o'clock one day. Um, well when in the afternoon on the Tuesday there at one o'clock rolled over so uh, gains not being held on to but uh, if well if it does push up just uh, watch for watch for opportunities really okay um, uh, the pound I think being Black Friday it really isn't going to see a great deal of action with the euro the pound well is still sitting there in terms of uh, looking for any sort of s signs of good news um, still not convincing it's cons been consolidating for hours now in fact 4 8 12 16 20 hours <laughs> um, just in the very tight tight range there of course when it consolidates like that we're going to see a move at some point we've just seen it coming back towards its daily pivot at the moment uh, make it a reaction off that um, if it starts selling through it well um, well 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 uh, maybe back to the 3450 uh, I'm not expecting big ranges unless news starts coming out from the UK if there's uh, science, further news but that could do what it did yesterday it had a, a, the, the, the surprise move up there but it gave it all the way back before it rallied again but uh, it did uh, it did have quite a surprise move and trying to short against the, uh, the the direction it was in in the first place but it just taking your stops out uh, but um, shorting it later on might have done you okay as long as you managed to take some profit so sitting there consolidated at the moment I have been shorting into spikes like this I didn't yesterday I wasn't around to do so uh, but uh, it's got to be taking very carefully and quite quickly quite often okay uh, so as I said really here break of the pivot well it's got support below if it was to really sell off that uh, daily r1 uh, s1 would be good uh, any sort of decent rallies moving up towards the r1 okay dolly yen okay how's this sits on the daily here it looks like it might just roll back a little bit it, uh, it as i said yesterday it ran, ran into the weekly pivot tick that box but um, it's it's looking like it could still roll over a little bit more here it's, uh, uh, as it sits there uh, fundamentally god knows why it's doing that but uh, there we are it may just be a money mo moving into a bit of safety but yesterday barely any movement I don't expect a great deal of difference today uh, although it's not a, a holiday as such today a lot of uh, people take the day and roll it into the uh, long weekend Aussie dollar um, again very small movement yesterday um, consolidating where it's sitting at the moment not really giving a lot of clues maybe it's got some more downside but it's, 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 it's mildly lower highs lower lows but not really um, giving us a great deal of uh, clue here where it's going um, 
I just won't be trading it. As I'm sitting aside on these markets mostly today. That's the plan, uh, unless we see a bit of action earlier on. Canadian dollar strengthened again yesterday. Um, probably one of the bigger moves by the looks of things of the day, uh, side of the pound. Um, again, this is in the bigger picture. It's still bullish. But uh, a bit more of a correction here that we've seen this week. Again, it's put a little tiny on the shorter time frame there. Maybe a bit of a bear flag, lower highs, lower lows. Maybe the point of least resistance uh, at the moment is to the downside. How much it will come off? Well, it's anyone's guess, but uh, I would suggest statistically it could get back towards, well, if it's going to continue in this route, may even get back down towards its daily S1. So in summary, not a great deal of stuff to go out there. Um, we've got a bit of Canadian data actually later on in the day at 1.30. Uh, CPI and retail sales, so maybe a bit of volatility later in the day there. But uh, with the other markets, uh, as I said, I think we may just see this uh, continued lull um, until uh, things get back to normal Monday. Have a great weekend, and I'll speak to you Monday. Have a have a good one.